Welcome to this video about STM32Q Programmer debugging features. STM32Q Programmer's main purpose is to program STM32 device, but some additional features are available to allow you a first level of investigation in case of issue. In this video, I would like to show you the register viewer and the fault analyzer features. I think the names are somehow quite explicit, but beware. Those features are only available through SWD and GTAG interfaces. Let's start with the register viewer feature. Once you are connected through SWD or GTAG interface, you can select the CPU button and check the core register. In this interface, you can also control the core state. I mean, you can reset, run or hard the core, or you can simply doing some step instruction. The CPU security state will be available only on the STM32 with Cortex-M33 on Tresdone activated. In this case, it will show you the current core state, secure or non-secure. But you also have the possibility to check all the register IP of your STM32. For this, after connection, you just need to select a REC button, then the device corresponding to the STM32 used. Then you will have the possibility to select the peripheral register you want to observe. Now you can read or write in the register depending on the access right, but you can also control the CPU state, run hard or reset it. Another interesting feature is the capability to save the register values of one or all the peripheral in a text file. This allows you to have a full overview of your platform configuration from register content point of view. But let's continue with a short live demo. First, let's check the connection parameter. I'm using the SWD interface and I'm in out plug mode because I want to observe what are the value of my register and my code is currently executed. So I just press connect first, then go in the register reg beta button. I have to select what is the device that I'm trying to observe. In this case, it was a G071. So I select it and you can see the control peripheral is selected by default with the register value. I can change to the flash, for example. And here we can see the latency has been set to one by the code. So of course I can change this. For example, I can modify just the prefetch value. I apply this value and I can resume the code and see if it has an impact or not. I can halt it. I can reset again the device if I want to check new value or get the prefetch. So if I halt, if I read, I can see that source value come back to the default one. The last interesting one feature is for me the capability to save all those values in a file. For example, I can save all the peripheral of my device in a text file. And if I show you the results. Yeah, you can see just a text file with each register and the different field and their value. So it's really useful to have a full picture of your platform. And that is what I want to show you in this short video. Let's talk now about STM32 Cube Programmer Fault Analyzer feature. As you probably know, ARM Cortex Core implements a set of fault exception. The default one is hard fault. On the Cortex M0, M0 Plus, some information could be recovered from the stack, but mainly that's all. For the other Cortex M, you have some dedicated fault status register which allow to configure and to get more information depending on the error. In those cases, you can see some main management uh, exception which detects some access violation regarding the memory protection unit. You can see some bus fault, which detects some memory access error, and usage fault, which detects undefined instruction, unalignment access, and also some divided by zero or other unalignment access if you configure it. Once you are connected to your target, you can select the bed button to get this fault analyzer interface. Now you can control the CPU state. So it can be running on ALT, you can reset the CPU. And you can click on Start Analysis to check all those registers to find if there is a hard fault on which information you can recover from them. You can clear this window and you've got this little note button. So I will just show you what is this. This note is just to warn you about the fact that division by zero and unalignment access are not trapped by default. 
you have to activate them in your software. Or another possibility would be to use the stm 32 cube programmer register viewer to set those values. This is a screenshot of memory management fault. The MMFR, or Mem Management Fault Address Register, contains the address of the location that generates this error. In case of bus fault, you can find the bus fault address registers which contain the location that generate bus fault, but you also have the fault instruction address and the call function address. So with those information, it could help you to identify the issue in the code. And the last example is about the division by zero exception that I configure also by software. But I propose to show you this example with a live demo. For this demo, I created a simple firmware that do a division by zero when you press a button. And I would like to check what we can recover from stm 32 cube programmer. So first I will connect in hot plug mode. And I would like to show you the configuration of the register. So first, let's go in the register viewer. I already selected the SCB system control block. And in the CCR, you can see that division by zero and unalignment exception are not triggered or are not trapped. OK, so if I go in my art photo analyzer and if I press any button to I would say do a division by zero. I can start analysis but find nothing. But you've got a window that's open and tell you that the div zero trap bit was enabled. So please double check. So if I want to show you in the register view, if I read again, you can see those bits have been modified. So now if I do a new division by zero in my code and I do a start analysis, this time all the information I recover from the device. We know where the faulty instruction address, we know it's a division by zero, and here you also have the CPU register. So it's really show you this aspect. You can, of course, reset the device. If I do a start analysis again, no exception for the moment. You activate the flag again, and if I don't press any button and start analysis, it don't find any hard fault. This is mainly what I want to show you with this Artfault uh, analyzer. Thanks for your attention.